Hi, welcome to Raju's Natural Science Academy for easy and happy learning. Good morning students. Today's topic is Root System in Monocots and Dicots. From the second lesson of 6th General Science, Knowing About Plants. Already we know that there are 10 topics in this chapter. In the previous videos, we completed first two topics. Today we are going to learn about third topic that is Roots in Monocots and Dicots activity. Students, already we learned that there are two types of root systems in plants. One is tap root system. And another one is fibrous root system. We observed that in our surroundings, some plants have tap root system and some plants have fibrous root system. By doing a small activity, we are going to know which plant have tap root system while which plant have fibrous root system. Aim of today's activity is to know what is meant by monocots and dicots and what type of root systems are present in monocots and dicots. For doing this activity, we require some materials such as two paper cups, bean seeds, finger millets, soil and water. First, we have to take two paper cups and fill them with fertile soil. So, 4 or 5 bean seeds in a cup and few finger millets in another cup. Sprinkle water on them and place them by the window for 2 to 3 days. Wow! Seeds are germinated. Students, carefully observe the newly emerging leaves of beans and finger millets. How many leaves have emerged from each bean seed? Two leaves! Yes, correct. Two leaves are emerged from each bean seed. How many leaves have emerged from each finger millet seed? Only one leaf. Yes, correct. Only one leaf is emerged from each finger millet seed. The seed leaf within the seed is called cotyledon. Upon germination, these cotyledons emerge as the first leaves of a seedling. Plants are classified as monocots or dicots based on the number of cotyledons. Bean seed has two cotyledons. So, it is a dicot plant. Finger millet has only one cotyledon. So, it is a monocot plant. Students, here I collected some dicot plants such as red gram, groundnut, brinjal, mirchi and coriander. Carefully observe and identify what type of root system they have. Yes, correct. All dicot plants have tap root system.
students here i collected some monocot plants such as banana maize bajra jowar finger millet paddy and grass carefully observe and identify what type of root system they have Fibrous root system. Yes, correct. All monocot plants have fibrous root system. Students, are you ready to do the homework? Write the answers for the following questions. What is meant by monocots? And give some examples. What is meant by dicots? And give some examples. Write the differences between tap root system and fibrous root system. Okay, students, study well, grow well, be a good citizen, and be proud to be an Indian. Thank you.